Hello, I'm Jan Dolce at Sutter Instrument. Today we'll show you a short tutorial about the puller bars and the V-groove bearings that position and guide them. A puller bar that has too little vertical play or is even dented is one of the possible root causes for variability in your pull results. So our tech support will ask you to check your puller bars and a few other components. This tutorial applies to the Sutter P97, P1000 and P2000 pullers, as well as certain discontinued models. The puller bars hold and position the glass capillary before the pull. More importantly, they control the movement of the capillary while the pull is executed. So it is crucial for properly shaped and reproducible pipettes that the puller bars are completely straight, parallel and in a well-defined position. To achieve this, each puller bar is carried by three V-groove bearings. The puller bars must have some vertical play in the V-groove bearings. To test this, unlock the left and right puller bars from their spring stops. Now grab one of them at the narrow section and move it rapidly up and down. You should hear a clicking sound and clearly feel some play in the bearings. Since each puller bar is supported in the V-grooves of the bearings, its position is defined by the location of the two lower bearings and the amount of play in the upper bearing. This was adjusted in the factory and will not normally need any readjustment for the life of the instrument. If a puller bar has no play at all, it will not move smoothly and there's a high probability that it is dented by being pressed against the upper V-groove bearing. The puller bars are made of high quality tool steel and we put a lot of effort into making sure they are perfectly straight. And because of this, the steel that the puller bars are made of cannot be hardened. So the bars are softer than they look. That means, on the other hand, that when trying to eliminate the vertical play, it takes only a very little overshooting to put a dent in the puller bar. And while that dent may not look like much more than a shiny spot, it does not allow the puller bar to run perfectly straight anymore and may completely ruin your pull results. Therefore, do not try to adjust the vertical play of the puller bar unless instructed by Sutter Tech Support. In addition, do not apply a lot of horizontal force to the puller bars to avoid bending them. It pays off to clean your puller bars and V-groove bearings from time to time. Use a cotton swab wetted with ethanol or isopropanol to remove dirt buildup from the V-grooves and their mating surfaces on the puller bars. Do not apply any lubricant to these surfaces or to any of the bearings on your puller. This video is meant as a diagnostic tool. Please contact Sutter Tech Support for further guidance before making any adjustments or attempting repairs. Visit our website or our YouTube channel to watch the growing collection of Sutter tutorial videos.